I love hearing about people coming in on like first dates and having a good time and there's just this feeling of comfortability and you know it's like you're in your best friend's beautiful garage or something. I did competitive surfing basically my entire young life. When I wasn't really surfing contests, I got to try a lot of different boards and realized that there's so many more options. I like using surfing to kind of come up with ideas. I'll have something that I'm trying to work on mentally and it all just kind of seems to flow. You're so present when you go surf. The idea of starting Daydream first came about when I was kind of just going through the motions of being a millennial, going to school, kind of figuring out what you want to do with the rest of your life. The idea spread just by me talking to Becca about it, my girlfriend, and she's basically responsible for all the visual components of Daydream, everything you see. I definitely play a role too. I'm just much more excited about the surfboards, and she's definitely much more cognizant of the overall feel and aesthetic of the shop. She studied design and fine art, everything from the colors to the textures to the couch that I'm sitting on. It's all Becca. She finds these really unique things and places that nobody else would look. I think the vintage clothing is my favorite though, just because there's so much cool stuff that already exists. It's so hard not to just like take everything. <laughs> it's the hardest part is having to like put it back in the rack. Two weeks, giving it two weeks. Really hard to find vintage trunks. I don't know why. These little guys are rad. Too small for me. That's a nice thing though. That makes it automatically, you know, for somebody else. Here's our coffee bar. This is the first thing you're greeted by. So our inspiration for coffee comes from our first move from Orange County to San Francisco. And I still remember asking one of the local guys that I knew where was the best place to go and he recommended Cyclass. And the first pour over I had there, I was like, almost like got out of my seat and I was like looking around, just like in shock that I was tasting something so good. And I just needed to figure out why. And coupling that with just bouncing questions off of Aaron Dwarf, who's our partner here at Daydream. He helped us really get the whole coffee side going. It's a process, it's, it's never ending. You're always trying to improve and learn more, so we're working at it every day. For the future of Daydream, I just want it to be this one little really special place that people can come to, and me and Beck will always be here, and anybody can come and find us, and you know, maybe we can just go surfing more often. 